decorating fanatic here. Hey guys, want to show you a little something I found from Kirkland's today. So while I was shopping, I saw a sign that said Harvest Halloween 40% off. So I couldn't resist this cute little trick or treat flag. So I couldn't wait to get home, set it up and put it in my yard. The other day when I was shopping, as you can see, the wooden sign that has a little buffalo check little ribbon says grateful. I was able to get that at 30% off and then I did their win to spin and got additional 20% off my whole order. So I was able to pick up a couple of these little wooden pumpkins. One says thankful. Then I have one that lights up with little bats on it. So I can't wait to show you all the stuff that I found. Then I went to my local Walmart and picked up four pumpkins. So we're going to do a little project with my pumpkins. So I went ahead and placed the pumpkins on the table. I have four pumpkins, two large pumpkins and two smaller ones. You'll want to remove the stems before placing the smaller pumpkins on top. This assures that they fit on there nicely. Now before we get started, you'll want to find some cardboard or newspaper to place your pumpkins on in case you spill any paint. Now all we need is some paint and a paintbrush. As you can see on the table, I have these cut out letters. I spelled the word eek and I have trick or treat. So after I get done painting the pumpkins, I'm going to let them dry and then I'm going to remove the stems from the larger pumpkins and then we're going to place our small pumpkins on top. These are going to go out on my front porch in a flower pot that I have on each side of the door. So let's get started. I found some Glidden paint in my garage and it looks like it's a gray color. It's Glidden and the name of the color is called Man. So let's see what it looks like when I start to paint the pumpkin. So this is what the color looks like so far and we know paint looks different as it dries but I think this is going to be a pretty color because I'm going to have the dark black lettering on the pumpkins. So what I like to do is start from the bottom and work my way to the top with the paint. It's okay to get paint on the stem because we're going to be removing the stem on our larger pumpkins. I'm all done painting the larger pumpkins. I'm going to let them dry. I think this took me about seven minutes to paint. So while I'm painting the smaller pumpkins, I will let them dry and I'm going to go ahead and rinse out my paintbrush and pick another color that I want to paint the smaller pumpkins. I went ahead and painted my pumpkin a bluish gray. What I had was a dark gray color and I decided to use the Glidden lighter shade and add to it, which gave it this bluish gray color. Now don't forget to paint your pumpkin stems. So right now I'm letting the pumpkins dry. I got the smaller pumpkins all painted. I also painted the stems. Now the larger pumpkins in the back, once they dry, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut off the stems. I'm back and my pumpkins are dry, so I went ahead and brought them outside. This is the big flower pot that I have by my front door. I used the big one first and then went ahead and followed it up with a small one on top. And then as you can see, we have my little schnauzer, Junior, came to watch. These are my Halloween mats that I got. And then down here are my fall leaves that we're going to use to wrap the bottom of the pumpkin. And then we have a sunflower that we're going to use on the top of the stem. Here's the finished product. We have our two painted pumpkins. We have some fall leaves. I went ahead and put two sunflowers on the top. And as you can see, I have another pumpkin down here that's made out of wood with our buffalo check ribbon that says grateful. That came from Kirkland's. And over here, we have the other two painted pumpkins that says trick or treat. And again, our little wooden pumpkin that says thankful. Hope this inspires you to start decorating. Until next time, happy decorating!